Right now we're able to do one of these missions and I definitely want to make sure that I do this power log with to do, especially since I love the characters in this game. And it just makes sense, like I'm not going to ignore character stories, especially when they're explicitly right in front of me. It does not feel like 12 hours in this game. Is that just me? Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm thinking that like uh, it's going by a little bit too fast. War of the Week, White Clouds, Chapter 6, Rumors of a Reaper. So we're on Chapter 6 now. We have been going through it, actually rather fast. What, has something happened? Oh, it's you, Professor. Since you are here, I have a favor to ask. Your Highness, you've returned. Sorry to keep you waiting, do. I'm glad you're here as well, Professor. I want you both to hear this. Mm -hmm. Dudu is already aware, but you should know there's been an uprising in the Duska region, in the western part of the kingdom. Dudu, would you like me to explain? No, it should be me. He puts so much Duska. weight on his shoulders, guys, he, he really does. Just beyond the mountains on the northwestern border of Fargus. But the people of Dusker no longer live there. The land was burned to ashes by the army of Fargus. All of the people were slaughtered. This was our punishment for the crime of regicide. <sighs> the barren expanse that was once Dusker so much is now <laughs> controlled by a kingdom noble. But Dusker survivors, such as myself, still exist outside the region. This uprising is most likely the work of such survivors, seeking to reclaim their homeland. A request for aid was sent from Viscount Clayman to the Kingdom Capital and the Church. He is the one who rules over that region at present. For now, the lords surrounding the Dusker region have sent their armies to help suppress the uprising. However... Are they short on troops? Are we gonna have to help? They have sufficient troops, and strong ones at that. Oh, okay. My worry is that there will be more unwarranted death. There have always been many in the kingdom's army who believe the people of Dusker are foes and hate them because of it. You would think they'd refrain from squashing the rebels out of political expediency. But I doubt that will be the case. If the kingdom's army and the rebel forces of Dusker collide, there is no doubt that the rebel forces will be annihilated. I'm afraid that's the best case scenario. It could also turn into complete At this very moment, Dimitri is like the Indeed. perfect picture of someone who I would want ruling Which my kingdom. My news. Honestly, like I have really. Just now received the permission I requested from the church. I asked the church to deploy our class to help handle the situation. So all of our so students are going to be with us. Not so fast. We still have a responsibility as students of the academy after all. The only one who can truly make the decision as to whether or not we go is our professor. So, what do you say? It is my responsibility as a teacher to encourage students whenever they have good ideas. And Dimitri is expressing himself in a way that makes me very proud. And I will never, never squash that in any student. You have my most sincere gratitude. And mine as well. If I'm putting myself in Violet's shoes, by the way, as a teacher. I will go and alert the others. We haven't used the We have to, like, yeah, we have to, like, um, up our stats in magic and in strength. Okay, so... Well, let's start off with going to the marketplace. We will sell some stuff because a lot of our stuff is pretty full up. Is that the one? Let's sell this. Uh, this stuff will keep. We're gonna have to do like a lot of... The reason why like we're gonna sell this hand axe, I don't think it's as useful as I was giving it credit for. Uh, the steel lance. We'll buy another steel lance as well just in case. Uh, Ash will sell your steel bow. I think everyone else is pretty good on inventory, but like no reason not to sell this. Okay, we have our units. We have a new armor on them. Let's defeat this. Defeat the enemy commander. The kingdom's vanguard has already arrived, just as we'd feared. They far outclass the Dusker forces. We cannot stand by and allow another massacre. But we cannot obstruct the Fargus army either. Right. Our best hope is to force the troops of Dusker to withdraw before the Kingdom soldiers get to them. The main body of the Kingdom's army is bound to arrive soon. Until then, let's aim to quell this uprising ourselves. Once the main force arrives, we will be out of options. 
We must move fast. So, okay, we have to root the enemies and root the commander before the enemy arrives. That makes sense. The and the kingdom troops are not working together. My head hurts just thinking about it, but we may be able to use that. First, let's push Dusker to retreat. The kingdom might then also withdraw without a fight. Probably. Quick about it. My, like, Dudu and Dimitri, I'm so... Yeah, just defeat... Yeah, I, 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 get the, I get the main premise of this. Wait, where's the commander? We should probably look at that. There's a lot of enemies. Okay, there he is. He's over there. So heading down here might be a good idea to start off with. Let's send Felix down here because he is one of the tougher boys. Um, as well as Violet. But we're going to have to send everyone over here anyway. That's what's like... like I'm so proud of those two boys at this point. Combat arts, uh, curve shot. Sure, let's get it. Let's get a little hidden. Like seeing them come up with this idea by themselves is like it's like everything you would want out of this game, right? Like you're seeing these these teenagers basically and these young adults growing before your very eyes. So we have to root that commander. Let's get that commander before reinforcements come. Jesus Christ. No damage. It's... Oh my god. It's... You know what's kind of funny? Oh my god. He blocked the critical? You know what's kind of funny though? It's like... When you're doing it, it doesn't seem as horrific. Right? But when you're looking at it from the outside, it's so like it feels so dastardly what we're do what they're doing, what war is, you know what I mean? Like we should know this already. And we do it too. I'm not trying to act like we're saints, but when you see it from that perspective of just people just killing each other, it's so hard to watch. Killing the commander at, uh, as quick as possible is going to be the best thing we can do here as well. Like, you see what I mean? Looking at it from this perspective when it's not us fighting, it's like, why why are we doing this? You picked a fight with Felix, dude. Don't. Dusker animals? Time is of the essence now. Don't say stuff you can't take back, my friend. It's really horrific seeing this. The best, yeah, the best thing we can do is to. Allow it. If only you dastards weren't here. I'll have your life for atonement, King Slayer. It's really rough. Heretics, what is it you think? Oh no! Done. Filthy Dusker demons! Stop! Stop saying that. They're probably gonna die over there too. Sending our troops towards the commander is the best thing that I think we can do right now. It's the best thing that we can do right now. Um, can we do an... Uh, what if we do... With the steel bolt, what if we do a... Curve shot on him? Or maybe a dead eye? Can we kill him? Our accuracy is going to be down, but if we can eliminate him, we can allow Felix to move past him and get there for faster. Get to the commander faster. Go now, if you value your life. Whoa! But aren't you with Vargas? In any case, thank you. Dudu is such a cool character, right? Like he's such a cool character. Like such an amazing character. <laughs> And I'm glad that they do these side Why missions so we can here? see the side of his character. Felix looks so freaking cool. Yeah, he's giving them a chance to run. So we're not killing them, we're just beating the head off them. Uh... Well done, Dimitri. Is that all? Oh, Dimitri looks so good in his armor! You're not going to kill us? Well, I won't wait to find out. I'm leaving. I'm safely away. To do. <laughs> Hand over my heart. One of the coolest characters. I know that I just said this about expected. Dimitri, but look at the, the black armor on Sylvain is amazing too. Am I just going to spend this whole game 
talking like this? Probably. We can't really move any... Oh, we can't. We move over here. Uh, to do... We'll move over here as we're moving out. And now here comes the big fighting phases. These guys are going to kill and kill and kill. See, like, what's really crazy is that, like, it really feels like while the Dusker army has more people here, it really feels like the, the other guys are a little bit more equipped. Like, there's, there's so much violence. And again, like, I know someone's gonna say, well, you have to understand this is what war is like. 110%, but that doesn't make it easier to look at it from the outside, especially when you're not doing it. It's very easy, I think, when you're, you know, punching people and using your special abilities to kind of be like, man, like, this is just a fun video game. And then when you look at it from this perspective, it's like, yeah, this is... This is not fun for them. This is the opposite of fun for them. Like, look, that's a death. That's not them getting people to retreat. That is a death. Revenge for my brothers. Even at the cost of death. Learning more, but it is cool the way we're learning more about the Dusker soldiers. But not only that, but, like, we're seeing this side of the dew that I really did want to see. Or at least I didn't know I wanted to see, but now I do want to see. I'm sure there's a way we could have saved them by knocking them out. But I feel like the best thing we can do right now is to root the commander as soon as possible. Felix, you okay, boy? The reason I'm bringing Felix up ahead is because he is one of the toughest characters. He has proven, like, time and time again that he has, like, a great defense, a great defense, and a great offense as well. I really feel like he's uh, a character that we can rely on. We could try and get you as well. Curve shot. Curve shot is the best thing we can do with you know, you know, He's gonna hit us back. But it's not gonna be that great. Uh, send a net over there to heal you up. Wait, we can attack? Who are we gonna attack? What's the worst damage that we can do? Yeah, I'm gonna attack. If, if we can somehow save these people, I'll feel good about myself a little bit. <laughs> if we can do it a little bit. Uh, wait. Uh, I'm gonna put to do here for now because I think that mage would have freaking killed him, would have wrecked him. See, that's why his move didn't do as good a damage as ours because he was he had he was closer, and he didn't have his like he couldn't do his special moves. Oh, he's gonna attack to do anyway. He's like, okay, I'll go for you anyway to do. The other people's turns last so long in this game. Destroy. I suppose we could skip it all, but then I feel like it's kind of doing a, d a disservice, especially for this story. I think you can press pause, like, and do you just do this. That's, I'm not going to do that again, by the way. I just want to show you, like, you can do that. But then again, I suppose it's, it doesn't do... It's not that much of a big deal, but I don't want to skip that stuff over and over again. I feel like there's no point to it then. And it, skipping it also, like, gives you a less of an understanding. Well done, Ash. Level 13. That's actually pretty good. Um, less, for me, I get less of an understanding of what's happening on the field if I'm, you know, skipping a lot of stuff. That's how I feel anyway. Uh, assist. Heal. So. Felix reminds me a little bit of a, like a Kagiyama in a way, from Haiku. Like, I don't know. Really talented at what he does. Sorry, I'm not letting you do that to do. do. It was not happening. It was not happening. Because if the do falls, the whole mission fails. To do get out of there as quick as possible. I could have healed there, and I tried to heal by pressing wait by accident, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. Uh -uh. 
Annette is actually pretty. Annette! <laughs> I think I forget always that Annette is like, while she's very sweet, she's not just like a little flower. She will kill you. <laughs> she will absolutely murder you. You want to go for a counterattack? Oh, both missed. They still have la a large force. Holy crap. I love that like you could actually feel the movement on the ground there with the sounds of how big this dude was. Okay, uh... Let's try and kill this guy, but like he could... Oh yeah, we're gonna... If, if this, this could miss though. We got it. We got a D plus. We're aiming for a C if we want to get Caspar and there's Ingrid with her freaking broken... I bought her a new spear, but I didn't equip it yet. Uh, Felix, move forward as much as he can. My boy, Felix. Um, uh, we could probably... Wait a second. Can't we stand here and get healed? Yeah. Combat arts, dead eye on who? Yeah, why not? Because I think if we killed him, it's a knockout. Oh, hello. And I just up here by herself. Saving lives, really. Because <laughs> again, if we knock them down, it's a knockout. If they kill him, it's a kill. Seems this area's done already. Yeah, they're falling back now. All right, fall Great. Back. And now Annette, well, I do want Annette to move up as quick as she can, but I don't think she's going to make it with us. At least we have, we do have Mercedes with us as a healer. I do also want to reclass Sylvain as a monk. You're going to attack Ash? Ash is getting so confident in his moves. Look at him. If, if Felix is the Kageyama of the group, Ash is the Yamaguchi, you know? Really good in a tight pinch, but really doubts his abilities most of the time, you know? And doubts himself. Combat arts. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's move forward with these guys first. We don't need to stay. We 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 don't. We can't afford, I should say, just to What's wait around here just for the sake of it. We got to keep moving forward. Oh yeah, Annette. Uh, Annette, you hide in the bushes. She's not gonna get down there as, as quick as we we will. You know what I mean? Let Annette just hide in the bushes for a bit, please. We'll come back for you. He's like, hello. Has anyone come to find me? Where is everyone? <laughs> like after we're done with her. I would never leave Annette. I joke about leaving Annette sometimes in the Discord or on Twitter with people. I would never do that. She's actually one of my favorite. I love the blue line so far. I really do. Like a lot of them. Ash, Ash taking an arrow to the stomach and then smiling is, 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 um, I don't want to say it's a mood, but it's definitely an Ash mood. Yeah, it gets so... Like, seeing all these battles one after the other is what's harrowing. Is because it's getting crazy, right? Like, look at all that's happening. Remaining turns nine. Okay, that's fair enough. Remaining turns nine. Uh... Just one straight, like, left punch. Each battle, a chance to grow. Each battle? Yes. Yes, boy. Each battle? Fun times are coming. Well done. Each battle? Mercedes becomes a war criminal. <laughs> Let's, yeah. There's nothing we can do right now but, like, just move forward towards him. Oh, 
Oh yeah, net. I'll just be here. Have fun, guys. There's a reason I left her behind, though. We saved someone's life, right? We saved someone's life, and that means a lot to me. Almost a kill for um, our boy Felix as well. The mage outfits or the monk outfits suit the characters so well. Like a lot of the outfits do suit them a lot, a lot as well. I think this is a very, how would I say about the blue lines? I think a lot of this group is just like very like easy to look at. Like they're all very handsome. They're all very pretty. They're all very like, they have very good armor. The armor suits them really well. And that's probably because they're nobility as well. Like the armor just suits them. Like it's meant to be there on them, you know? Very, very, very cool, crisp looking group Next of people. Time, bring for sure. Felix looks the coolest. <laughs> what a cool guy. Um. Yeah, sure. Do you want a bit of fire? It's not over yet. We need to move like as far ahead as we can because we'll also lure these soldiers up to us, which will make our path up ahead a lot easier. You got, what are you guys doing over there? We're not having that much fun, Annette. You sure? Sounds like a lot of fun. No, uh, no, Annette. No, Annette. It's actually quite boring. Oh, okay. Don't, don't tell her it's fun, guys. Don't tell her it's really fun. Well, I don't know if I'd call this fun either, though. This is, like, about as fun as, like, I don't know, like, we're, we're watching people die. <laughs> it's actually pretty horrific. <laughs> Sylvain. Sylvain also looks really cool with his armor, too. Yeah, that's the problem. I think I think the terrain matters, and you guys can answer this question for sure, but I think the terrain matters because it, we do move a lot slower. It actually might be a good idea to... Oh, assist, yeah. Yeah. Well done. I'd be terrified if I was up there in the bushes by myself. <laughs> I'd be so scared. Sylvain. Sylvain can take it. They're getting way better. My, my, my troop is getting way better. I, yeah, I'm thinking about changing Sylvain to a monk. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I don't know if that will be, like, if that's a smart idea or not. But that's the idea I have because I think if I want him to do more mage stuff, even though I think as a lance user, he's really cool too. But I don't know if you can use ma magic skills if you're not um, a lance user or not a not a monk, as expected, or some other type of magic class. I will say as well, guys, I'm not a massive fan of job systems in, in JRPGs, and I think that's actually like a credit to this game that it's made it to the point that it's not only interesting but like it works really well and it's really fluent. There's no, like, bogged down mechanics. Because sometimes I feel like when I'm playing a JRPG, it's like... It's like, I have to, like, look up a chart. Like, where do I have to go from here? Where do I have to go from here? But they make it very simple, but also, like, very intuitive at the same time. It just works for me a lot. Personally. Please don't kill the Dusker soldiers. It's a pity we can't tell the Disco Soldiers, hey, oh, whoa, don't, don't, oh, that's the, don't kill the general. Before we can get there. Please don't do that. Is there any other way we could have gotten here? Wait a second, I have an idea. I'm on it. What if we do this? Oh, that it's probably gone. Stay focused. Let's just try and get over there, because I, I don't think that general is gonna die just yet. I'll cut through. But there's a lot of troops over there. Here we go. 
I'll give it my own. What should I do? Like we could have gone down the other way, but I don't I don't see how that would have worked either. It seems like there was a clear cut route to getting down here. Like at least he got rid of that kingdom soldier. Cause I think they they if they defeat the king defeat him, it's gonna be way different than if we all oh, please don't kill the Dusker soldier. Don't you guys should like refrain. You guys should refrain from attacking right now. Defend your general. Please def Okay, he got him at least. So there's only one guy left and he has to get through him as well. Maybe the general will come over to us. I don't want I don't know what else we could have done to make this a little bit smoother. Could we have moved like right away? I'm out of the bushes, guys! That's great. Why you know don't attack us! You didn't give it your own. We're like the last line you have. <laughs> I guess they don't know that exactly. Come over here, General. Oh, he didn't get there in time. Thank God. Thank the Lord. We missed, though. Yeah, thank the Lord we got there in time. Angry <laughs> with a broken spear. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Is this how our dream ends? I will check the status of the kingdom's troops. To do, I leave the Dusker army to you. Very responsible. Yes, Your Highness. Please be careful. A large bullion too. War for the weak. Renown increased. Oh, Dusker heavy soldiers added to our barracks as well. Should we give them to Dudu? Would that be a good idea? Or is that just me just being like, put the Dusker with the Duskers? Why save us? I will not abide the needless death of my own people. Yes, to do. You must know that as long as there is breath in me, I will fight. Then fight and be defeated. But so long as you pose no threat to his highness, I will not end your life. Idealistic fool. We will not relent. Not until we've taken back the homeland you monster stole from us. I share the same sentiment. You, who sold his soul to Fargus. His Highness has promised the people of Dusker a home. His will be a kingdom that is proud to harbor the blood of both Fargus and He really and believes. Dusker. He That's really believes impossible. in him. Don't be naive. Believe what you will. But Fargus will change under his reign. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that is my firm belief. To do. Thinking? The kingdom army has retreated to the fortress. There should be no further danger. Dimitri. Prince of Fargus! You monster! Can you still run? Then I suggest you do so now. Your people are waiting for you on the other side. Remain hidden from the kingdom army. Jesus Christ. Cross again. I certainly hope not. But remember this one thing. The people of Dusker never forget their grudges. Nor do they fail to honor favors. Thank you, Your Highness, for accommodating my selfish request. Selfish. Think nothing of it. I'm so gonna like I feel like crying, you. but I'm <laughs> if you must give thanks. Directed at the church for these two to join the battle and to our professor for leading the charge. No, it was you guys, it was you two. Time we headed back. You two was your idea. I'm so freaking proud. I am right behind you. Oh, the smile on the dude's face. He sees so much in Dimitri. That was beautiful. That was truly beautiful. That relationship between the two of them is something so special about this game. The writers of this game, the director of this game, should be really proud. And I mean that. I know that doesn't mean much coming from someone who just plays games. But they should be really proud of that. That's awesome. 
And it was really interesting what he said. They don't forget, forget grudges or favors. So it could go both ways. He's kind of like, I don't, I haven't forgotten what you've done. But what you did here was pretty cool too. Oh, we have a class as well. Great. Instruct manually, of course. Um, group tasks. Um, I think we're going to keep with this for a while. We're going to keep with that for... Oh, no, maybe we should um give Ingrid some time with the flying. Some time with the flying. There's no one else to really help her out here. Ash, I suppose. Might be good. Uh, let's instruct. We have everyone here with a big smile on their face. Uh, the do. You know what? You deserve a bit of a bit of training. So, axe and brawling. Is that where we're continuing to go with now? Axe and brawling. Should we give, should we give him another goal as well? I have... I have... Very, very good. Uh, we'll then go with Sylvain. So now here's the thing with Sylvain. Like, actually, I'm not going to go with Sylvain just yet, but like, do should I change him? And you guys will know this better than I, but should I change him to being a, a monk for a bit? Uh, oh, yeah. Get that B. So this... <laughs> I feel like, like, Ash is so nice that you could be like, Ash, you goddamn idiot. Oh, thank you, Professor. <laughs> I guess I can be a bit of a goof sometimes. <laughs> Uh, Sylvain. No, we're not training Sylvain just yet. Uh, Ingrid, Annette, Mercedes. Well, I guess it can't hurt to train him, but, like, we're gonna work on these guys as well, because I feel like we, we have been giving him a lot of attention. What's your goal again? Oh, yeah, flying. Uh, C the C plus in both, but this is less. Well done, Ingrid. Very good student. Gotta praise that work. Uh, Annette, of course, and we'll do Mercedes as well. Oh, yeah, get that B. Get that B. Haha, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was so, that was adorable. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I cut her off, I know, but like, you know, you got it. You can oh, no, no, yeah, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep going. And, oh, wait, no, sorry. We have one more, so let's Mercedes. Uh, oh yeah, get the bee. A lot of bees. Oh, I'm so proud of my students. Look how, look how good they're getting. Look how good they're getting. They're amazing. Well done, guys. And now I'll instruct you. Begin lecture. I have a question. What? Oh, please, no. I'm terrible at these. What a wonderful oh, no, I clicked idea. it by accident. <laughs> okay. Well, if you like... I I always say that. Focus on bow skills. No, my buddy. No. And I'll explain why I said so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ash had legit... Oh, it's Catherine's birthday. Uh, give flowers. We, I'm not going to go do a tea party with everyone, like I said. <laughs> I Look at Ash on a freaking wyvern. That looks so cool. Here's the result. Well done, guys. And here comes the level up skills here. Ash leveled up his horse for his riding. Sylvain upgraded his magic too. One, two, punch. Oh, we have to start equipping these skills as well, because I think like some of these skills are, are like, there's a limited amount of skills you can actually use. Uh, can we explore right now? We can explore right now. Is that something I want to do now, or do I want to do a seminar right now? I think we're gonna- I think we're gonna explore. Um... We talked to all the people we need to talk to right now. Uh, we do have, though... Five, yeah, we can do five things today. Let's do our regular stuff, let's harvest some stuff. What the? Now, we have some supports, too. We have quite a few supports, so we could totally do some supports as well. Now, I wonder what's the best time to, like, end this, these, this day's missions, if you know what I mean? Like, we, we can go to them at any point. Oh, no, let's, let's make sure we're doing good ones. Like, we can go to them at any point, right? If you know what I'm saying, we can, like, um... Go do the mission at any point. One second here. Actually, I want to check something. 
roster here. Let's go to Byleth for a second. I want to check his stats. Uh, he is a he is enough strength to he will be able to get Casper. He will be able to get Casper for sure. What's his magic? It's at nine. So if we can build up our magic just by a little bit. That might be a good idea. Hold on a second. Let's see if we have anything that will upgrade our magic items. Uh, items. So this right here, what does this do? What is it? Oh, details. Okay, I couldn't see it there. Permanent increases next by one, increases by look by one. Uh, we don't need that just yet. How do we access the convoy again? Okay, here's the convoy. That was me being a bit of a uh, a dum dum. <laughs> uh, it's just stuff that like I, you know, I'm not usually used to. So we can also have items here. So what does this do? HP, increase speed, dexterity, magic by one. Uh, yeah, let's you let's take this. Uh, no reason not to take one of these as well. But also now. We can use this to upgrade her magic wand. Will that be enough to... It might be enough to get her on our team. Professor. Yes, I am Professor. How did you know? First of all, I want to do some stuff before we do some supports. Um, Lady Rhea is over here, right? I want to do some training as well, just to build up her brawling skills as well to get a uh, hold of Ash. Not Ash, sorry, Caspar. Why do I associate Asper- uh, 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 Ash, I- did I just- <laughs> Did I by an accident do their ship- like a ship name? Ashbar? <laughs> I did- I literally- I did not mean that, it was literally just a slip of the tongue. But we're here, we did it. We'll own up to it. Like, you know, we can't- We can't deny what we did. Hmm. And Catherine should be over here, right? Where was Catherine again? Catherine was... Oh, she was in here. Yes, the training grounds. Did you hear about Flame? Some of the I'm pretty sure you said this to me already, though, right? Him. I see. Faculty training, though. We're very close to upgrading our brawling skills. We're extremely close to be able to... I think we can recruit uh, Kaspar. Um, let's go get some... Unless there's another teacher... I don't think there's any other teachers that teach brawling skills. But I think it'll be a waste as well, because in a battle you can get that anyway, and we have a lot of time to recruit him too. Um... Let's go to the dining hall. Hey. What's today's special? Caspar, Hilda. Uh, let's look for something that our, our team would like. Uh, yeah. Wait. You definitely need it a bit more. This looks... Well done, my guys. Okay, so another... Let's do one more meal as well with these guys, too. So Ingrid definitely needs it, too. So one with Annette and Ingrid would be perfect, like this. As long as we have some people to train, right? As long as we have some people to train for the next one. And actually, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to invite Marianne to, to, to come cook again. All eyes gain max HP 3, dexterity plus 2. I like the dexterity, actually. I know some people might like to look at the way I'm spending my days and be like, Hey, this isn't optimal, Calvin. You probably should do it in a different way. And if you have, if you have any ways you should, would do your days, please let me know. But obviously, in, in the end, I'm just going to choose the ways I want to have most fun and also, like, build up my characters in a lot of ways, too, I suppose. 
Let's go talk to Caspar. Because while I think he's over here, while he won't... Where was Caps... See, I'm thinking of the way the places they were in. Rather, like, last month as well, so I don't... Oh, here he is. He's in... Yeah, he was here last, uh, a week ago, too. Ingrid, hello. How are you doing? Well, there's this... There's some stories here on the map as well. Hey. I don't know if she ran off or got kidnapped that... Recruit. You no, know, Professor. I keep hearing good... I gotta admit, I'm curious. Want to let me into your... Class? Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. yes! Yes! Yes, Casper! Yes, we are! I gotta find her. <laughs> That's awesome, Casper. Thank you so much. Casper's in our team! Is he in our support group yet? He is! There he is! Casper! <laughs> Okay, let's go find, um... Mayan's in the church, right? Let's talk to her and see, if, like, what we need exactly for her to want us to, to, to join with us. Casper, join our group. Casper. <laughs> yes. Dear goddess, hear my prayer. Please watch over flame. Oh, professor, excuse me. So she doesn't want to do it yet. Magic and writing, so magic... Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. We'll build up our magic. We might actually reclass Violet as a magic user uh, for now. Um, I think that might be. I think that might be a good thing to do. Okay, so for now, actually, I want to go down and. Uh, see these little blue missions here because I've forgotten what these are. I've forgotten what these are. Oh, so they're like manual oh, visits. Will father never learn? All of these useless letters are only creating more rubbish in the world. Professor? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. My apologies. Wait a second. Oh, uh, that paper. Did we already do this? I... Yes. Yes, it was. It was a letter from my father. I understand where you're coming from here, but I have no need of such things. It isn't like anything of importance was written on it. Curious? I suppose there's no harm in allowing you to read it. Go on then. My dearest daughter. Oh, we didn't do this. We definitely didn't do this. Are you well? I trust that you are behaving yourself and or refraining didn't... from causing trouble for others. Things on the home front are in order. The marriage proposal for you and the Viscount's son should be prepared soon. Although we heard about our arranged marriage, there yes. There are many superior candidates at Garrig Mock Monastery. As you know, the very survival of our family is Jesus, dude. Whom you marry. You are the only one left in the family who can make things right. We are all counting on you. Do not lose sight of what truly matters. This is, yeah, this yes. is. Perhaps you found it somewhat entertaining. I've told you that we've never been very well off financially. My noble family, House Galatea, branched off from House Daphnel in the Alliance. Shortly after, we were lucky enough to receive the support of the royal family, allowing us to attain nobility to some extent. But the territory we watch over is poor. It's harvest meager. And our noble blood, too, has grown thin. Neither my father nor my brothers bear a crest. I, however, do bear a crest. Because of this, my father sees me as our family's one hope for the future. A crest is highly prized among nobles. Were I to marry into a greater noble family, that financial support could soothe our woes. For sure. Thank you, Professor. Your sentiment alone is a great comfort It's comfort, to me. but like it's not going to help. Despite my own feelings, I understand I feel his terrible. to all this. It isn't that he doesn't care for me. I understand it very, very well, which is why I. I apologize, Professor. I'm Ingrid, you're going. amazing, but honestly, if he if he did care about you, he wouldn't be doing this. I'm just going to say it straight out. 
It's not right. It's not right at all. Uh, it's actually just right up here. Let's walk up here. Man, I feel so bad for Ingrid. That doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at all. Hello. To have that much pressure on you, and like we're seeing the, the, the pressure. Are you okay, Marianne? Marianne always, always talk chat with me. Um, professor? There's... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to skip you. Uh, I'm happy to listen, for sure. Thank you. How should I put this? I don't seem to be getting along with everyone. Oh, I don't, no, don't break my heart, Marianne. Am I a nuisance to you, Professor? If so, I'll leave. Of course, my adoptive father may not understand, but if I must... Marianne, no, no, first we say you're not a nuisance, <laughs> please. Marianne, right. Maybe the reason you're feeling this is because you're not a part of the Blue Lions. Once you're a Blue Lion, you're a Blue Lion for life. We'll support you no matter what. So, take this pamphlet, okay? Oh, my adoptive father is one of the new nobles of the Alliance. His territory is to the north. He was a distant relative who took me in after my parents vanished. He's blessed with great drive and ambition. Some may go so far as to call it avarice. He wishes to marry me off to a powerful noble. That's why he sent me to the academy. If I left now, I'm sure he'd have a strong opinion about it. Ah, oh, sorry. I strayed away from the topic. I was- I was riveted. I was listening. I understand. I understand. Uh, good. I'm glad. So, as I was saying, are you sure I'm not bothering you, Professor? You're no bother at oh, all. The opposite. So I love you as a character. What I'm trying to say is, you should keep your distance. I'm more trouble than I'm worth. I won't agree to that. When people say that to me in real life, that just makes me want to be friends with them more. <laughs> you only say that because you don't know the real me. I'm sorry, I have to go. Man, they really are fleshing out the characters quite a bit as we're going along here. Wait, we have support level B? Can we talk to her again and maybe recruit her? Let's head back up here now. Well, actually, it might be easier to head through the reception hall and get down to here. Man, I love those little side stories. We'll be doing more of the support stories uh, next time as we're going through this. Obviously, this episode is already very long. And tomorrow is my birthday, so the episode... I don't think the episode's gonna be shorter. Like, I like recording, so like... It's not like I'm gonna be like, okay, F it, let's like do a shorter video. We'll, we'll see, we'll see what we're doing. So yeah, this is where you start the mission, but I'm wondering when is the best time to do that. Yes, Mercedes, 100%, let's do it. You there, youngster. Mercedes, what happened? Won't you listen to this old man's troubles? Really cool design though, isn't it? I was it? born and raised right here in this town. I spent my whole life here. My daughter lives in the Empire, and she sent me a letter to ask if I was keeping up with my daily worship. Well, hello there, Professor. Is this a friend of yours? I don't know him. <laughs> the way he said that sounded like he was saying it because he's like, sure you two knew each other. Is there like a little boy. I don't know him. Good, sir? Oh, what a lovely young lady. I was just telling this kind soul a story. Really? What's troubling you? Well, I was thinking of going to daily prayer, but my leg's been acting up and I can't walk properly. How terrible. That's no good at all. May I be of assistance? I'd be happy to lend a shoulder in his fortune. Oh, ever said is. Would you? Oh, I'd be most grateful to you. Thank the goddess for sending this young lady to me today. We'll need your help too, Professor. Here, sir, take my arm. Splendid work, Professor. He really seemed to appreciate our assistance. You did a good deed. Putting a smile on someone's face always seems to brighten up the day. Is something wrong? 
You're giving me a strange look. How did you know something was bothering him? Oh, mm, how should I put this? I suppose it's just second nature to me. What do you mean? It's difficult to describe, but I can usually tell when someone is worried about something. Back there, I could tell that both you and the old man were in distress. Me? I spent a good amount of my life living in the church. Maybe that's why I'm so good Well, that is true. Yeah, a lot of people who are in distress do come to churches. Did I not mention that before? I spent nearly 10 years of my life in the church of Fargus. Many came to us with their troubles. In my own time of need, I once ran to the church myself, and they helped me. May I share something with you, Professor? It's about a dream of mine. What is your dream? I'd like to work in the church one day. I want to be like the priest who helped me. Never mind. It's not a very realistic dream. Please forget I said anything. If I were someone else, perhaps a commoner without a crest or stature, maybe things would be different. It's a bit sad, but this is the way things have to be. After all, only the goddess can decide our fates. There, we have like a really good mix of characters here that we're getting to learn about. And like, honestly, like, I feel like stuff like that with Mercedes, for example, like, it's not something that's going to move the story forward incredibly so, but it does move the characters forward. And characters are like incredibly important to move forward too. So we can't recruit her just yet anymore. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but I think we're going to have a good idea of... I don't think support B is enough to do it with her. But like 10 magic and support B might be a good thing, right? Am I thinking Am I thinking that right? That we could maybe like do it next time? Uh, but I think we're going to be doing the supports come next episode. We have quite a few to do. We have at least, you know, one, two, three, four. We have a lot of them. We have a lot of them. Which I'm okay with doing. I'm okay with doing all these supports. And we'll do them at the start of the next episode. And we'll probably go into the main mission in the next episode too. Um... If you look at the calendar, we have one more class and one more exploration day. So I'm thinking Search of Flame. So I'm thinking that we should maybe just wait until this day to do it. Will they just force us to do it in that day? And then we'll just do a seminar this day as well. That's perfect. The episodes are going to get, the series is obviously going to get a little bit chunkier. We're going to be doing more side quests and stuff like that. Uh, or maybe not even do a seminar. We could just do a battle on that day as well. I will see you guys very soon. Hello, Mercedes. Long time no talk. Thank you.